what we eat, what treatments we take, how we look, scientists believe the single-celled organisms in this test tube can change our lives, if we learn to grow them on an industrial scale with the desired characteristics. The Wageningen University and Research Center in the Netherlands has been studying for the past 20 years the little cells in these tubes filled with seawater. CO2, basic nutrients and sunlight are all they need to live and multiply very quickly. This is a suspension of microalgae and they are microscopic green plants. And uh, we are interested in studying them here in Wageningen University because they are a very sustainable and highly productive source or for a range of uh, products. Microalgae can be used in animal and human food, cosmetics and even plastics. Each cell contains a variety of oils, proteins, antioxidants and vitamins. It's a natural resource with huge potential. We grow them in seawater. You have very few agricultural crops that can grow in seawater. We can put these systems on land which is not fertile. We can go to the desert. We can use land that's not available for agriculture. A European research project aims to make that economically viable. The microalgae oils could be used for food, their proteins for feeds or glues, their antioxidants for cosmetics. It's a nice looking organism. You have it in green, you have it in red, you can have it in yellow. It's aesthetic and you can use it for that purpose. Here, we try to use nutritional value that you have in algae and give it in a slow release medium. So this is a bioplastic, it will degrade slowly in a water environment and release slowly the nutrients. The project builds upon the experience of its business partners, such as this Spanish company, which produces about two tons of dry microalgae matter each year. Its researchers have studied hundreds of species to select those with the best properties and then grow them in these massive computer-controlled photobioreactors. We control the temperature by cooling the tubes with water. We monitor the pH, the light, the oxygen quantity, since photosynthesis produces oxygen. These conditions are very harsh to survive in, but they're required to produce the bioactive ingredients we are interested in. The goal is also to keep innovating to make each step of the production chain cheaper and more efficient. One promising use for microalgae is being experimented by this Portuguese company, conducting R&D for the fast-growing aquaculture sector. It's working on new fish feed recipes using microalgae that contain proteins, fatty acids, vitamins, minerals and other valuable components. It's important to study how the use of these microalgae in feeds benefits the fish or not, though we mainly find beneficial effects in terms of its immunology, its stress response and its well-being. Scientists continue to study how these fish will grow, look and what they'll eventually taste like, perhaps proving a good case for a business and eco-friendly use of microalgae.